You may experience market forces at work every day and not even realize it. When does this happen? Let's say last week you were shopping for a new business suit for some job interviews you had coming up. You found the one you like, but it was a little pricier than what you could currently afford. Two weeks later, you see the suit is marked down 25% and you buy it, feeling good about your purchase. In this case, market forces rewarded your patience. So how do we define market forces? Market forces are the way behavior of buyers and sellers affect the level of prices for goods and services without any government or artificial influence. It is simply the actions of people acting in their own self-interest which creates the forces of demand and supply. When there is excess demand for a product or service, this puts upward pressure on prices and the quantity supplied. Excess supply puts downward pressure on prices. These natural market forces of supply and demand help drive the market towards equilibrium price, which is where the supply of a product and the demand for that product are in balance. It is the spot where the supply and demand curve intersect. The rest of this lesson will now focus primarily on the demand and supply forces that cause a movement along the supply and demand curve, which is when there are changes in the quantity demanded or quantity supplied as a result of price changes. Additional lessons will focus on factors and market forces that cause entire shifts of those curves, such as changes in income, advancements in technology, and changes in tastes and preferences. For this lesson, we focus on the forces of demand, supply, and price changes along the existing curves. Demand forces can cause us to move up and down the demand curve. Remember, we are talking about moving along an ex existing curve, not shifting the curve. This movement happens when the price of the product rises and falls. If the price were to rise, then we would be moving up the demand curve. If the price were to fall, we would be moving down the demand curve. Since the demand curve slopes downward and to the right, as the price falls, a greater number of people would demand the product. What causes this movement? Ultimately, a price change. Price is one of the strongest market forces in all of economics. But why did the price change, you might ask? A few reasons may be the producer or seller is trying to see if they can make more money by raising prices. They may also be looking to move out old inventory for new seasonal merchandise. Either way, the quantity demanded for the product changes as the price changes. Let's look at a quick example to illustrate this market force. If a hammer is sold at $3, it might have 500 buyers. However, if the hammer manufacturer or seller were to change the price to $4, then the hammer might have only 300 people interested in buying it. On the other hand, if the seller were to drop the price to $2, then the hammer might have 1,000 buyers at that price point. These changes in price by a seller or producer all represent movements along the demand curve. As the price changes, natural market forces cause more or less people to now see the hammer as affordable or a good deal. Each price change results in quantity demand going up or down for the product. Just like a movement along the demand curve, a movement along the supply curve means that the supply relationship has remained constant. We are moving up or down the existing supply curve because once again, the price for the good or service has changed. So why would quantity supply change? Just like quantity demanded, the quantity supply change because of the price. Let's look at an example. Imagine that a new computer tablet is released for $300. Because the computer company's previous experience and analysis shows that consumers will not demand computer tablets at a price high. Higher than 
they found that people simply shift to laptops at that point. Because of this, they only offer 1,000 tablets. It is simply too risky to produce any more before they see how it will sell. If, however, the 1,000 tablets sell quickly and are actually demanded by 3,000 people, natural market forces will cause the price to rise as demand increases and consumers bid up the price to get a tablet. As a result, the tablet company now is willing to produce more tablets at higher prices. Remember the simple rule of supply? As price goes up, the quantity supplied of a good will go up. Why, you ask? There's more money to be made by selling products at a higher price. On the other hand, if 1,000 tablets are produced and only 750 are demanded at that price, the price will not be pushed up because the supply is greater than demand. Natural market forces will actually put downward pressure on the tablet prices as the computer company looks to sell the remaining 250 tablets at $250, $200, and so on. The lower prices now appeal to people lower down on the demand curve who weren't originally interested in a tablet at $300, but now have entered the market at $250. Market forces of supply and demand will continue to shift the price up and downwards until all the tablets have been sold and supply and demand are in balance. In summary, Market forces are the way behaviors of buyers and sellers affect the level of prices for goods and services without any government or artificial influence. It is simply the actions of people acting in their own self-interest which create the forces of demand and supply which help determine prices. When there is excess demand for a product or service, this puts upward pressure on prices and quantity supplied. Excess supply puts downward pressure on prices. These natural market forces of supply and demand help drive the market towards equilibrium price, which is where the supply of a product and the demand for that product are in balance. The market forces and behavior of people in regards to price cause movements along the supply and demand curve. As people demand more of a product, they will bid up prices to get what they desire. This entices suppliers and sellers to offer more of the product. As people demand less of a product, sellers will naturally produce less and work to move their product by lowering the price and appealing to a greater number of people along the demand curve. These natural market forces of supply and demand are constantly in motion and help determine the prices and availability of products you buy every day.